Hi there, this is Jason Dunn from Zoom Thoughts, and this is a Zoom 101 tutorial on using the new uh, auto playlist functionality, which in the new Zoom software they call it uh, Sync Groups. So, what you want to do is you want to, uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm going to show you the way that I think makes uh, the most sense. So, if you click on Device, the device tab uh, and your device should be connected at this point uh, you have two different options starting sync or viewing sync if you click on view sync it'll take you into the sync group section now this shows you all of the sync groups on your device and again you can think of sync groups kind of like uh, auto playlists so what you want to do is you want to click on new group and what we're going to do first is we're going to create a really simple auto playlist so I like my hard rock and roll so I'm going to type in hard rock uh, my source is going to be my music collection um, and I'm going to make this really easy by just simply I want to include uh, the genre of hard rock. Now as a little tip, if you use uh, a semicolon, apparently, I haven't, this is the first time I've actually tried it, but a user on our forums pointed this out, uh, you can actually include multiple genres by using, by using a semicolon as a separator. Uh, what, I'm, what I want to do though is I'm just going to leave it at hard rock and uh, I can apply one or more filters. Now if I wanted to I can say you know only sync over hard rock that I like or hard rock that I haven't rated yet. I can change it to you know only sync over in the past you know 90 days or, or something like that. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually just going to leave it at all, and I'm just going to essentially leave the whole thing uh, as standard. So really, this is just going to pull over all of my music that is tagged as hard rock genre. So I'm going to click on OK, and that should create a hard rock um, group. And I'm just looking for it here, and it's right here. So uh, it's interesting that it puts it way at the bottom where it's a little bit hard to find. At any rate though, this is my hard rock uh, group. Now it says pending. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on OK and then if I look back on the sync, you can see that it's actually starting to sync over uh, again everything that it can find. So what it's doing is it's actually uh, scanning scanning the library and it's pulling over all of my hard rock. Now while that's synchronizing, we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually uh, create another sync group that's going to do something a little bit different. We're going to sync over uh, photos. So in this case, we're just going to call this sync group recent photos. We want it to synchronize from the photo collection. Okay, and you see as soon as I change it to photo collection, we lose a lot of uh, the options here. So the filter that we want is actually to specify, we want to, f we want to filter over, uh, sync over photos that we've taken in the last 90 days. So I'm going to put in 90. Um, I can limit it, let's just say no limit, right? So I just really want all the pictures on my computer that have been added within the past, you know, 90 days. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sync it, so I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to click on OK here and I'm going to scroll down a little bit because it's probably hidden it down at the bottom near where the other one is. Yeah, so here we go, so pictures, so pictures, uh, it's pending, I'm going to click on OK and then if I look back here on the sync group, what it's going to happen is that it's going to uh, probably, you know, it's going to be scanning my hard drive and it's going to be looking for uh, new pictures. So while that's synchronizing, I'll show you the last uh, type of sync group that you can create, which is, guess what? It is video. So if I go in here and I can say, you know, let's just say, you know, recent TV shows, and I want to do it from my video collection. Now, what's interesting is that they actually allow you to um, uh, tag based on certain TV series. Now, I don't seem to have any... Um, uh, I'm not actually sure where it's pulling this metadata from. That's that's kind of interesting. Maybe because I don't have any TV shows on my hard drive. Well, actually, I do. I, I know I have an episode of The Ultimate Fighter, but it's not showing up there. I guess maybe if you had a TV series and you knew the title, you could type it in here. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we have different genres of of, uh, of TV shows, but I'm going to leave that blank. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want, you know, uh, let's just say the last, you know, seven days worth of um, TV shows right from my my video collection and I, I should specify it's not smart enough to figure out that I only want TV shows because of course it's going to scan my video collection so what this is going to do is this is going to pull video from the last seven days and you can also limit it to you know a certain number of items so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to click on OK and I'm just going to scroll down here and verify that my sync group was actually created we have pictures there we go so there's recent TV shows and it says it's pending I'm going to go back over here to the uh, device 
there we go and uh, it says that 40 items had uh, just been added so that's about it uh, it's gonna go ahead and it's going to uh, you know start that sync here in a few minutes and it's going to convert my uh, videos so that's essentially how you use the new sync group features if you have any questions post them uh, below this video or stop by zoom thoughts and jump into our forums uh, thanks for watching this video and if you're watching it on YouTube please uh, post a comment rate the video and subscribe to our channel